right? Fine. <laughs> Mark and Ganesh. That's amazing. We have lamb on the menu. Yes. We have got lamb. What are we going to cook today, Ganesh? We are cooking a lamb shoulder with a beautiful romesco sauce and a mustard sour cream. Nice. Fantastic. We cannot wait to see how that turns out. Great to have you with us on the cafe and in the kitchen. And nice to have you back, Ganesh. Thank you very much, sir. What have you been up to since you were last well, with us? Well, you know, restauranting. It's a busy time. Yeah. You know, constantly restauranting. But we're back here today because we are doing Taste this week. This starts this Thursday. Yes, yeah, so Taste of Auckland, for, for people that have been before, it's a fairly iconic event. For, but, yes. but for people that don't know, what's yes. Taste all about? The Taste is basically a whole bunch of amazing people showcasing their products from all around New Zealand, as well as amazing restaurants showcasing their products. Yeah. And then a whole bunch of different, different stages where you can learn different things. And this is going to be from one of those stages. So this young man here has just prepared a lamb shoulder with some salt and pepper and Ooh, and now that, nice hot pan. that's happening. So it's a nice hot pan. Now I did hear you say, should we check if the oil curdles? What does that mean? Well, not curdles, but when, you, when a pan is hot yep. and you drop the oil in, it should kind of all shrivel up and start to dispense sure, the oil. And right. that's kind of a sign that the oil is hot enough for you to then the look at putting it. Because if you don't, then it all goes quite soggy. Right, sure. Did you want to flip that good, sir? Oh, I'm just going to just keep checking it, because we have got a really hot pan. So we'll no. get a nice colour. So we're just trying to get some colour on it. Excellent. And then we have prepared um, a lovely plate here. Carrot, celery, onions, called a Miracor. It's kind of the standard setup. Sure. So we're going to put in some stock into that, or we'll probably put all that in now. Should yeah, we, we can put that in now, yeah. Put, so put we can literally check that one side started to brown and go in with this. It's, we it's can't, as simple as that. Yeah, it is, because really this is something that's going to cook for about three hours. Sure. So this is that beautiful, you can get those beautiful smells. And the shoulder does lend itself to that longer cooking time. That is correct. Yeah. You know, you want it nice and slow. And so that's doing its job right now. We're gonna let's both stir it together. No, this is more fun. Like, <laughs> oh, stir it. No, you do it. You, you, you do it. You do it too. It's more fun. No, I mean, what's the herb that I can smell? That's thyme. Thyme. That is thyme. Oh, yeah. look at that. that that's, a, that's what you want. There's some serious That's what you want. You want some amazing color there. Now the so, color is flavor. That's right. right. And how do we know basically when it's time to then move back to the next step from here? Well, once the onions start to sweat a little bit, the carrots start to get a bit translucent, that's normally time for our next step, which is to put the stock in. So that's a bit of sure. chicken stock that we've got yep. there. The recipe will tell you exactly how much, cool. which is available. But that'll, shall we put that in now? Yeah, we can put that, that in now. Yep. And the reason for putting the, the vegetables in dry is, does, again, that gives them a flavour? Fla absolutely. Yep. So that magic combination, carrot, celery, onions, yep. is the magic combination for flavour for a dish like this. Oh, so we can see that. See again. that right there? So that's doing amazing things right now. And we were now. talking about it before, you know, you can add some wine at that stage. Yeah. Right. This stage. You can put white wine, red wine. Red wine. Want, bit Madeira. There is no rule. It's really about what you like. And so that's, again, just about extending the flavour and, and going with your personal preference. Absolutely. And are there any golden rules with this? I mean, you can slosh in a bit of wine, I'm guessing, and you're not going to ruin anything. You can't actually you can't no, just gonna do this the right. Flavor. Honestly, the golden rule is, was the one at the very top. Yeah. Make sure your pan is hot. Yeah. That's literally the golden rule. Because yeah. once you hit the meat down and it's not hot, then you get that glug. Everything falls apart from that point on. Yeah. You lose. Totally. And as Mark said, it's We're giving us right that flavour. So and we can We're see winning. the flavour there. I cannot wait for this. Uh, Taste of Auckland this weekend, of course. Yeah, so many incredible restaurants at Taste of Auckland this weekend from Thursday right through the weekend. And I believe, Mark, you might be making an appearance there as yeah, well. Yeah, I've got yeah. a demo there. So Chef Secrets on the Sunday. Come and see me. Fantastic. Um, there are tickets and VIP tickets still available. Uh, Tasteofauckland.co.nz if you were wanting to get your tickets for that. I can promise you it is well worth going along. There is a reason I am this size because <laughs> I love food. <laughs> Which, back to the food, we are going to this lamb shoulder, which obviously we saw how we start it. Now yes. we're going to see how to carry on the process. So magically, after three hours, that happened. But what I've you done is... You are amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and what I did, though, it came out beautifully braised, but it didn't have that colour on it as much. So I've just quickly given it a little bit more colour, sealed everything sure. in. And in the meantime, Mark is going to make a romesco sauce. So yep. romesco, you, you tell him, eh? You tell right, him. Right, so, know, so it's a Spanish sauce, so romesco sauce, cold, um, roasted capsicum. So we made that last week on the show, so you can do these at home uh, on the open gas or in a really hot oven or a blowtorch, blacken the skins, peel them. That's what you're left with. We've got some toasted almonds as well, so it's a, an almond and capsicum sauce with a bit of heat in there. So we've got some cayenne pepper. 
and some smoked paprika as well. That goes in. A bit of sherry vinegar as well, just to sort of cut and get some acidity into there. And then a little bit of tomato paste as well and some fresh garlic, which you're just gonna peel and pop in. And then you just blend it all together with a bit of olive oil and make this beautiful sort of, sort of semi-chunky, fresh, tasty, spicy. Sort Thingy. Of a thingy. A uh, thingy. But that's a technical <laughs> term, I assume. Always a technical uh, That's what we term. use in the kitchen. So that's the base. So that's going to be part one. So I'm waiting for him to finish that. Sure. The moment that happens. So we've got all the other bits and pieces that are going to go on for a garnish. Yep. Um, this is the mustard sour cream. And the recipe is online. But cool. essentially, it's a combination of different mustards, right. homemade sour cream. And it adds this beautiful kind of tang to yeah. the whole thing. That, that beautiful sourness that you love with something quite meaty and fatty like lamb. Fantastic. And what are we looking for when we're blending up the sauce? Well, I think... To know when it's, you know, done. What do we have there? Does it look, um... We've got a textured sauce. Depends. I mean, it's probably See, to you now if you want it yeah. textured. I quite yeah. like it. It's like this texture We like it chunky, like, because yeah. you want to taste all the bits and pieces totally. inside yeah. it. So that's basically it. Let's, um... Let's... Shall we, shall we give that a little, um... There you go. Thank you, sir. A little scoop. Yeah, so we'll give that a little scoop. And we'll put a little bit down. And so it's so easy to make for like, yeah. you know, something that's really simple but like full of flavour. It's great. Well, okay. I saw the flavours that went in there. This is this is. And going then just to be a little, incredible. just Schmier. a little, just a little smear. <laughs> Very high tech. <laughs> don't, don't leave oh, things. No, never. <laughs> I love all my bits <laughs> and pieces. <laughs> and then magical. So we make our own gherkins. You right? make them? Wow, we that's do. cool. So you can do that if you want to. Again, the recipe's online. Yep. And th this is delicious quinoa that we've toasted so, with some spices. I was going to say, what, you've toasted the quinoa and it, it's straight down the cucumber like so that. So straight down the cucumber like that. Very good Mark, do you want to slice up that meat for me, sir? I will slice some lamb for you. Slice that meat up for me. So we're in the, we're in the final stages now. Oh, this is good. It's all happening in front of you right now. See? It's a two-man job. At this point, Teamwork. it's a two-man job. Is there a method to where you're placing things? Yes, wherever <laughs> I want. Facing north? <laughs> wherever I want is the method. It's an amazing method, I call it. Oh, look at that meat. There's a lovely pink in there. Yes. There's a great colour around the outside. And then we that's love going on that. there. Oh, and then, look at this. And then we've got a little bit of fresh flavour through there. And that's fennel, right? There's a little bit of fennel, a little bit of fennel for crunch. Excellent. And then let's cut this bad boy. Oh. And then this is the magical, oh. and then you do the little dollops of... So this is a, a mustard sour cream? This is the mustard sour oh. cream. Beautiful. Over the top, Look and then that. to finish it off, we put little bits of garnish just around the just around the way. Oh, just look around at that. the way. Just like a bought one. Just that around looks the way. Amazing. <laughs> and now let there be lamb, Mark and Ganesh. How's it looking? Beautiful. Isn't it it looks amazing. Oh, wait until you taste it. It's great.